But we do need to move on. And I think we're going to move on. We're going to keep the wrestling going. I think it's time for Eric's indie Ooh, update. We got okay. some good stuff. I can't wait to hear Eric's it. Eric's shit went down this past weekend. Three good things. So, for the NWA 70th anniversary show, if you watched it, well, Cody lost the NWA championship to Nick Aldis. Unbelievable. And then Cody on uh, Instagram, he did say something along the lines of uh, he is going to begin a transition to a new role in pro wrestling. Don't know what that means, but uh, we're just going to have to stay tuned for that. Uh, his next uh, match, I think, is going to be at Global Wars and Ring of Honor hmm. in the next month, so stay tuned for that. Cody and the Young Bucks, Hangman Page, and Marty Skrull uh, were on board uh, to be on, announced on this up-and-coming promotion started by Jim Ross and Y2J so Chris you Jericho. you don't know what the promotion is? It's a yet-to-be-announced uh, promotion. Oh, okay. So is it confirmed that they're doing that? Because yes, I heard they are confirmed. Yes. Are you sure? Because Chris they, Jericho was trying to say how he wasn't, was trying to deflect that, but we all know that Chris well, him Jericho and JR, likes to yeah, troll people. Him and JR, they're actually talking about that, so... And but, Barry Bloom, too. Barry Bloom was yes, influential. that's another one, too, yeah. Eric Bischoff That's hates, uh, A-Train, right? No. Barry... No, dude. Who that, is that? Eric... Blue, uh, Barry Bloom was actually an agent for WCW that now has heat, I believe, okay, if yeah, I'm not right. mistaken. No, I, it could be that. With Eric Bischoff. Yeah, it could be that. Um, also, this weekend, if you booked your cabin, well, you are in luck because the Chris Jericho Rock and Wrestling Rager at Sea is going to go all the way through the weekend, all the way through Halloween. It's going to go all the way from Miami to the Nassau Bahamas. Catch it on Fight TV. Chris Jericho announced it. So, the stars of Impact Wrestling are going to go up against Ring of Honor. Guests such as JR, Jerry the King Lawler, Diamond Dallas Page, Mick Foley, Noel Foley, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Rey Mysterio, Raven, Pat Patterson, James Ellsworth, M Melissa Santos, and podcasts like The Art of Wrestling with uh, Col uh, Colt Cabana. I'm going to get on that damn boat. Be Beyond Darkness <laughs> uh, podcast. The on that boat. Kill Killing the Town podcast. Busted Open podcast, comedians, musicians such as Fozzie, Corey Taylor Slipknot, and so much more. It ain't real good if you don't have the ring journals on it. Though. No, exactly. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It, that, that boat is. Uh, that boat's not going to be over unless we're on that boat. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So uh, make us give us a <laughs> reservation. So come on, Jericho. Yeah, come on, Chris. So, I know, right? And now, dream match of the day. We talked a lot about The Rock, Rocky Maivia, a lot. Yes. So uh, there's been a lot of matches that I thought that you know why don't why don't we do this i know there's a guy by uh who used to be in wcw and wbf tna and he actually used to be tag team partners with uh hulk hogan used to be with the nwo former intercontinental champion had a great match Ooh. with ricky the dragon steamboat back in wrestlemania 3 great matches with goldberg kevin nash so many others i'm talking about the Macho Man Randy Savage. So you go Rock Pro. versus Macho Man? As far as promo goes, mm. you know, wow, if you ask man. me. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a dream match for sure. Because too. I know before, it's obviously it can't happen, before uh, Randy's death, he said that he respected The Rock a lot. He actually saw him as a general in the back of the locker room. So he said that um, that's another, another guy you look up to along with Undertaker. And then now, after that, I saw that. I just said, you know, what would, what would it be like if The Rock did go up against uh, Randy Savage? Yeah, it would be very interesting. That's a good one. I like that fantastic. one. Fantastic. What about you? You got one? Nah. Okay, I got one. We were just talking about John Cena being Mr. Hollywood. Yeah. How you got? How about you got uh, John Cena, Mr. Hollywood versus Mr. Wrestling, Daniel Bryan? And you renew with some of that rivalry, and you have Cena just talking all this shit to Daniel Bryan about how he's only always going to be a wrestler and all this stuff. And while, you know, it's just a thought. It's, a, it's something I came up with right now, obviously, because I just had, I hadn't thought about the Cena thing until you guys started talking about The mm -hmm. Rock. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you go, you go, you go John Cena versus Daniel Bryan, pure wrestler, all that stuff, versus a guy that is now turned heel and has gone completely Hollywood and does not care about the fans anymore and all this stuff. And doesn't care if you have heart, doesn't care if be you, huge you believe yeah. in your dreams, which would be a hard stance for John Cena to take, yeah. but that's the way you turn heel, right? Reverse everything you've always said, mm -hmm. right? It's not about hustle, loyalty, and respect anymore. It's about yeah. winning. And he'll probably use... <laughs> right? he'll winning pro that 17th championship. Yeah. That's what that's Money, what it could be. women, and fame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, imagine that. Imagine if you had Cena... See, I don't want to extend on this too much, but like, imagine if you had Cena his 17th 
uh, his 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 run for the 17th title to beat Ric Flair is to be the 17th, like to turn heel and be like, all I care about is winning that title. I don't care about anything else. And that's how he turns heel yeah. in all this stuff. So there's a lot of ways you could do it. But I just thought if you have seen it turn heel in that way, you haven't faced a guy like Daniel Bryan that, that just missed her wrestling. It's a whole different side because I, have, I haven't seen, you know, Cena being heel since uh, when he used to do those rap uh, battles when he used to be like the rap superstar back on SmackDown. I mean, John Cena's got to be an asshole, though, if he's a heel. Yeah. There's no tweener BS. No. He's got to just be oh, a that dick. guy used to insult a lot of yeah. people when he used to do those rap battles. His, mo- his movie roles aren't even. He's not even a dick in his movie roles either. No, not really. No. You know, he, I, I, he maybe, just plays maybe a funny that's dude. What we'll take, maybe, maybe that's what we'll take it, right? Maybe if Cena's in some, some movie... That makes him look like a terrible dude. Maybe he'll get. Maybe he can be like, dude, I can do this in WWE. I can do the same thing. He so. can do the. He can do it. The, he has enough merch. Vin- Come on, Cena, you can do Vince, it. Yeah. It's just Vince not being willing to pull the trigger. He was going to pull the trigger, and then he stopped at the last minute. If Vince can pull the trigger on Dan, D, Dean Ambrose turning on Seth Rollins the night Roman Reigns announces he has leukemia, yeah, th- then he can make John Cena heal.